earlier this month, Nintendo received their second lawsuit from the company Game Vice. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, back in 2017 when the Switch was first coming out, a company called Game Vice filed a lawsuit against Nintendo saying the Switch was violating one of their patents. And back then, it was specifically about a product they had made before called the Wikipad. The Wikipad was this Android tablet that was focused on gaming that basically came with like a controller sleeve. You would dock the tablet into the sleeve and that would give you traditional controls, which is kind of a similar idea to the Nintendo Switch. Now they dropped that original lawsuit, but are now re-emerging with a new one that's more focused on their more recent product, the Game Vice. Now, obviously this isn't the exact same thing as the Switch, it doesn't have its own system or anything in it, but it's designed to work with a number of different phones and tablets, basically the same idea as the Wikipad, but instead of having to buy their specific tablet, you can use it with one you already own. Now the reasoning behind this lawsuit is that the patent Game Vice has regards the idea of controllers with a bridge that connect alongside a portable handheld device. So it isn't the Switch in general that violates this idea, it's the simple fact that the system can do this. If the Joy-Cons never attached to the side of the Switch, if they were always wireless and you had to do tabletop mode or anything like that, it'd be fine. But because it can do this, that violates their patent. They're saying that because it is a similar competing device and is doing so well, they've potentially lost out on a ton of sales because of it. Now, yes, they did file a lawsuit before and dropped it, but what makes this time a little more serious is not only are they filing the lawsuit, they're also requesting that the US International Trade Commission investigate whether or not the Switch is infringing on their patent, and if it is, they want them to stop all importing and sales of the Switch to the US. Now, is this something that's going to happen? No idea, probably not. I am not a patent lawyer. We're lawyers. I obviously cannot give you the guys the full in-depth on how actually possible this is and how good the claim against Nintendo is, what could happen with it, no idea. But it's a really interesting argument to follow and whether or not the Nintendo is actually maybe kind of ripped off at least the basis of this idea, maybe? I don't know, let's try out the Game Vice for ourselves. All right, so we actually grabbed one of these Game Vice guys right here, so I'm gonna try it out and kind of see how it compares to the Joy-Cons. I mean, obviously it's not gonna be the exact same thing, but. Let's just see how much the idea is actually the same. Oh yeah, so I mean, it's very true to the name Game Vice. It just goes on the sides of the controller. It's actually not that, it's not that bad, it's kind of comfy. Uh, I mean, I can already think of a lot of ways how this is not really like a Joy-Con. I mean, I get the idea it's still a detachable controller, or maybe it's better to say that this is attachable because it doesn't exactly work apart from the device. I like, by the way, too, that this is the same ABXY setup as an Xbox controller, but they flip the colors like, no, this isn't the same thing, guys. This is a totally different design. RBXY is different. RX is yellow. Yeah, it is nice that it just works right away. I didn't have to do any kind of like setup or anything. You know, using this thing, I gotta wonder, like, I, I see how the argument can be made that this and the Switch have a lot in common, that there's these attachable controllers, but that's kind of the most, just the vaguest, simplest definition, and there's a lot that's different. Uh, for instance, with a Switch, it's all one package. You know, the controllers are part of the Switch tablet, that's it. This is a side accessory that you attach on its own to multiple devices. But not only that, but it's the fact that this just attaches to something and adds controls, whereas the, the Switch, you know, it's one thing you can use, or you can take them off and still use them. You know, uh, sort of like these are attachable, Switch Joy-Cons are detachable. It's, yeah. By the simplest definition, they're similar, but that's about it. I mean, I'm not an attorney. We just focus on the law. Concept wise, this video aside, this actually is like a cool thing. I can actually see myself using this more because I like having the portability of my phone for certain games, but I don't necessarily want to keep a controller around for not using touch controls because I hate touch controls. So yeah, this is kind of a nice midpoint where I'm able to still keep one nice little portable package, but give me way better control than touch controls. I gotta say too, like looking at the photos thing, I thought controls were gonna be a lot less comfy because it's very blocky looking. There's not exactly a lot of curvature going on, but it's shaped just the right way that you still kind of have a grip on the back and it's pretty comfortable. It's not, I mean, I definitely would prefer like an actual normal controller, but for this kind of just add on kind of thing, it's actually pretty comfortable. Uh, almost more so than a Switch is actually with like the Joy-Cons on as one tablet because you at least kind of have a grip shape to it. It's not just one flat back. So. Did Nintendo steal the Switch? 
Okay, that's probably a little too extreme of a line, but really think about it because yeah, the Switch and the Game Vice are very different things. I mean, the Switch is its own gaming system. It can dock and connect to TVs. The Joy-Cons can do a lot more than just attach to the sides. And the Game Vice is basically a really cool controller adapter for phones and tablets. But when you look at the basic idea behind the Switch, one of the starting points of how it was probably designed is that yeah, it's a portable gaming device that has controllers that attach to the sides. And in that respect, there is a similarity, and it's not like the Game Vice is this brand new thing that came out at the same time as the Switch. I mean, the Wikipad came out in 2013, the Game Vice came out in 2015, and both of them were announced even before then. So knowledge of these products was out there when Nintendo was making the Switch. So was it something the Switch was inspired by? Did Nintendo actually actively try to copy the idea? Or was it just a coincidence they had a similar idea not knowing this was out there? I don't know. I don't work at Nintendo. I mean, personally, I lean towards the thought that it is just coincidence, but that's just me. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below.